Hello all, welcome to Tech with SAS. In this video, we will talk about service mesh versus API gateway. Whether uh, do we need both of these components into our application or any one is sufficient. Also, uh, I have like uh, made two comprehensive videos on these two topics. So uh, please go through them first. Uh, in this video, we'll just compare and contrast whether and when we need uh, the service mesh or the API gateway. But if you're looking for the comprehensive understanding of these components, uh, please go through uh, these videos first. So let us see our application, right? That is basically having uh, some client like uh, a mobile browser or desktop. And it is uh, connecting to our application via API gateway. And then we also have the uh, service mesh uh, internally configured where all the services are talking to each other via a sidecar proxy. So what is happening here? Uh, here uh, basically whatever the external traffic is coming to our application that is being handled by the API gateway. But when API gateway is uh, uh, sending the request to the services, and when they want some information from other services, they are using a uh, service mesh pattern, right? So in this particular uh, scenario, uh, we are seeing that API gateway and service mesh are working seamlessly. So let us understand what they are doing at their own uh, layers, like how much, what work they are basically performing, right? So API gateway is routing any traffic that is coming from the uh, external partners, external clients, right? Suppose uh, you have the browser or whatever, they just handling that uh, traffic. Then uh, whatever the API request it is going to handle, right? Suppose you have uh, 20 APIs which you expose to the client. So those are being uh, handled by the API gateway. And if you talk about the service mesh, it is basically responsible for the entire service communication. Whatever the communication that is happening inside the application between the services that is happening via a uh, service mesh. And then it is good for the uh, whenever you have how many services, right? So at that time, uh, you can utilize uh, this sidecar proxy or service mesh pattern because uh, if you implement this pattern, a lot of common concerns, right? Authentication, authorization and rate limiting, all these are uh, taken care of by the service mesh. Then if you see the API gateway, API gateway is a uh, mature technology. It's been here for a while, but the you know, service mesh uh, is kind of a new technology. Uh, but yeah, it is uh, I mean, established a lot, but yeah, maybe it, it needs some more uh, enhancements. And uh, then the traffic wise, right? The traffic which is handled by the API gateway, you can say, like it's a north-south traffic because it is handling the traffic from clients. But uh, uh, in the case of uh, a service mesh, it is handling a traffic which is uh, east-west, right? Uh, between the uh, services. So uh, this is the main crux of both components, how they are uh, basically uh, complementing each other and how they are uh, also uh, contrasting from each other. So that is how you can understand uh, both these components. So now let us understand like what are the common uh, functionalities which API Gateway and Service Mesh provides and what are the functionalities which are separate from uh, between them, right? For example, API Gateway provides the API management. So if you have uh, many APIs, right, their contracts and their uh, patterns, so those can be configured in the API, API Gateway. Any external clients can expose uh, their APIs to connect to your API gateway and to your application. So API management is a is a part of API gateway, and that can be managed uh, from it. Then, if you want to have uh, some control on the access side, suppose you want to have uh, some controls on the client. Okay, who can access uh, which service and who cannot access any particular service? That can be controlled by the API gateway because it's a front door to application. So at the front door only, you can put the control so that the request which are eligible, they can come inside. Then a security policy. So any security policy which you want to implement, uh, like uh, that can be also done at the API gateway. And if you have uh, some uh, 
uh, some uh, services, some uh, APIs which has been monetized. So you must do some billing for them, right? So you can have those uh, data captured at API Gateway. Okay, how many requests have been served by your application? And based on that, you can uh, do a billing uh, for those clients. And then traffic routing, whatever traffic is coming from the uh, external clients that can be routed by the API Gateway. So these are the uh, few functionalities which are the API Gateway, which API Gateway provides. Then a uh, service mess is basically uh, good uh, for the uh, internal traffic routing. So whatever traffic is uh, going between back and forth between the uh, services that is handled by the service mess. Then API security. So whenever you have a communication between uh, services, it is important to have them uh, secure, right? So that security can be done by the service mess. Maybe uh, you can implement OAuth or JOT at the service mess level. Then resiliency. So suppose if any uh, service is down, right? So what will you do? Will you implement the circuit breaker pattern uh, to uh, capture that uh, issue. So if you are doing it in each service, it's the uh, overhead. Right, but uh, if you are doing at the service mess level, it's going to be very, very seamless because it can handle that uh, as well. So, resiliency can be achieved by the service mess as well. Now, rate limiting is a common phenomena uh, to API Gateway and uh, service mess, but rate limiting uh, at the API Gateway is basically for the clients, like how much request they, how many requests they can send to application, but rate limiting at the service mess level is basically for the service service communication. So what service and how many requests uh, they can send to each other that can be controlled by the uh, service mesh. So these are the uh, few functionalities of the API gateway and service mesh. Uh, from that you can understand, okay, how much they are complementing and how much they are differing from each other. So in conclusion, if you are confused, okay, whether you need a service mesh or API gateway, Remember that if you can possibly uh, use both of them in your application, it is a very good solution uh, because you gain benefits from both of those components. Okay, because uh, API Gateway can handle the API management part and uh, routing of the uh, traffic coming from the clients, then uh, service mesh can handle the communication between the services uh, seamlessly. So both components uh, are basically uh, not same, but uh, they uh, they they operate at different layers, right? So uh, both can be utilized, but it depends on your budget and your requirements. Uh, so I hope uh, this clears like uh, the uh, differences and the similarity between uh, these components. And that's it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll uh, see you next time. Uh, please leave comments or questions if any. And please subscribe. Uh, thank you for your time.